Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics Coach channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can set up the Blast Ring Image Generator on a Windows machine. So, Brick is a tool that is used to compare and then visualize genomes in circular or ring structures. And so, using Brick, you'll be able to generate these cool plots um, that I'm showing right now. These are just a few of the plots you can just uh, generate using Brick. So in order to use Brick, you need to make sure you have installed Java as well. So um, Java is um, one of the dependencies um, for Brick to run. So just make sure you have installed it. I have a separate video that shows you how to install Java on a Windows system. So just watch that to get your, your, your stuff going. So let's proceed. So there's a download page for Brick. And I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So just use that too. And get to this page. So on this page, scroll down a bit, just follow my cursor. You will see a button labeled download break. So just click on that button and then download will proceed. So click on it. And then you'll be sent to another page and then download will take place here. So let's wait for us download proceeds. So notice how my download has been done here for me. It's automatic. So just wait and then it will be done for you. So mine is done. So I'll just go to my download page, um, my download folder, and then I'll just check it out. So there, it's a zip file. So let me just go there and then see. Okay, so mine has been done here for me. So there's the file. Here, it's a zip file. So what you have to do is to extract the contents of this zip file. That is assuming that you have installed Java already. So you just open it. You can use any archiving tool. Um, you can use um, WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, or any other tool that can do the extraction for you. So just open it. I'm open mine. So there is it. And so I'll just come here, there's a folder, and then I'll just extract it. So I'll just extract to my downloads folder as well. So there's it. So let's just open it and then look at the contents. So these are the contents, and then this what's break.jar. Let's go to bin. And there's nothing there. Um, yeah, so it's fine. So this is the file we use, the break.jar. So it's a Java um, file. So this is what we use Java to open. And so what you need to do first is to get a path. That's what I recommend um, for you to do. So just get a path here. Let me go again. So on this page here, on this um, bar here, where you have your path, local, PC, blah, blah, blah. Just click on the right side here any empty space on the right and then you have some text being shown here for you so this text this is a path okay to the break.jar uh, file so just copy this path you copy it and then um, that's it you will now go to the terminal command prompt and then just um, start break from there so let's go there and then check so mine is here cmd I'll just click and then I'll have my terminal being open for me. So here, let me just test Java first. I'll just test Java here first to see that Java is being run. So we have Java, which is great. Let me check the version of Java I have. Okay, so I'm using the Java standard edition. That's fine. So from here, we we'll just have to CD to the break folder. And so with Windows, you do what's called chdir. And then you paste the path, the one that you copied, you paste it there so that you have this as this. So once you have it like this, you just hit enter and then you are in that folder. Let's check the contents using this command, dir. 
So you have some files there. So this file here, the break.jar, that is what we are going to open. So once you are here, you just type java-jar and you specify the file name, which is this, and then you just run it. So Java will open an application for you. Okay, so great. So this is how uh, we install Brick. And if your files appear like this, where we have the Java icon on the files, then all that you have to do is to just double click on it, like this one, the Brick file here, and then it will open for you, just like how it's appearing now. And so these are the two ways that you can use to open Brick when you have downloaded it. Okay, so from here you can just go and then just uh, browse your reference genome, your query sequences and all that. But these are things that have covered. Okay, so I have a separate video that shows you how to visualize Brick. So once you have it set up like this, just go and then watch that video to get started. So uh, after you are done, you can just close it and you can also just close your um, command prompt here and then you are done. So anytime you can just go to it, see to it and then just uh, get your start going. So I believe this has been helpful and I believe this has been helpful and then you can just use that to get your um, genomes visualized for you. So that will be all for this tutorial and let me also get your comments in the description box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.